I have an idea for an app that I want to prototype and show to my coworkers. It's easy to build and deploy web apps nowadays. Let me show you how. Hi, Lisa. Welcome back to the show. Would you please remind viewers what you do here at Google? Yeah, I am a product manager here at Google Cloud, focusing on container runtimes like Cloud Run and GKE. Before Google, I have worked with lots of enterprise customers to move their workloads from on-prem to the public clouds. So let's say I want to prototype an idea for an app and show it to my coworkers. How would I do that with a minimum of fuss? Let's try to do some web coding. Because I'm a terminal person, I'll use Gemini COI. It's an open source AI agent that gives you access to Gemini directly in your terminal. Got it. And what would the process be? You would use the Gemini COI to build an application, and then you test it on your machine and iterate with the Gemini COI until you are happy with it. And finally, you can deploy it to Cloud Run so your coworkers can see it. That sounds good. Now, I've installed Gemini CLI on my machine, but I haven't actually used it to write code yet. Yet. Uh, could you demo this for us? Yes, let's dive right in. Here is the Cloud Console web page for my project. I will click here to start my cloud based workstation. OK, I see the point of cloud workstations. Uh, I kind of prefer working on my local laptop, though. Yeah, everything I'm showing you here can be done on your local machine as well. And this is my .gemini file with the settings for Gemini COI. Under MCP servers, I've added that Cloud Run as an MCP server. It's not a requirement, but it will make the deployments much easier later on. I love MCP. Uh, it means I can use plain English to call APIs, right? Yeah, exactly. Next, I'll create a Hello App directory for my new app and then open that directory in the editor. And then let me start the Gemini COI. That's a pretty start screen. Yeah, it is. Here, uh, I can enter instructions for the Gemini AI. And then I can also enter a slash commands, for example, to see what MCP servers Gemini has connected it to. And there are the Cloud Run deployment commands. Yep. I got them because I added a Cloud Run MCP server before. All right. Time to tell the Gemini COI to write some code for me. I'll ask it to create a Python Flask app with a text box for the user's name. It should echo back hello plus the person's name. It looks like it came up with a list of uh, six things to do. Yep, and that is the reasoning capability of Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then um, it will ask me for my confirmation before doing each step. I will approve them all. And I could also have enabled YOLO mode, where it will make the changes automatically without asking. Well, I like this more, where you can see and approve each step. Me too. But YOLO mode can also be good for trusted workflows that you've seen Gemini do before. Gemini is done creating the app files, and it's now telling me what commands I need to run to start the app. I'll ask Gemini to run those commands for me. Right on. Let Gemini do the boring work. Yep, Gemini tried to run the commands, but there was an error. It figured out that a virtual Python environment will solve that error. So it created one for me. There were some more errors, but Gemini is fixing them all. You know, I could have used this last month when I set up a new Python app. Yeah, absolutely. You should have used the Gemini COI. Now the app is running locally on my Cloud Workstation. And then let me click here to view it in my web browser. Let me enter my name, and it works. All right, now it's time to deploy the app to the cloud so anyone on the internet can see it. First, 
Let me ask Gemini COI to stop the application. And then I'm going to ask it to deploy the app to Cloud Run. And looks like a Docker file is recommended. And it remembered my project name from before, and that is nice. And also the G Unicorn is needed. It's adding that to my application for me. All right, then it writes the Docker file. Nice not to have to do that manually. Totally, I agree. Thanks to the Cloud Run MCP server, I added in the settings file, Gemini knows how to deploy to Cloud Run. It can do that for me, and this will take a minute. So now it's building the container and deploying that container to Cloud Run. That is right. Martin, let's take a tea break. All right. And now it's done. This service URL is the address of my app on the internet. And let's go there. And there is my app. I'll enter my name. And the app works just like how it works on my local workstation before. I like it. Thanks to the MCP server, Gemini COI can even show me the logs from the app. I'll ask for the log right now. And there they are. Gemini is telling me that the logs looks great and that my app is running well. That all looked really good. But I have so many questions for you, Lisa. Yeah, of course. Go ahead, Martin. First of all, how much does all of this cost? As we're recording this, the Gemini COI gives you 60 requests per minute and up to 1,000 requests per day for free. And this is the largest free allowance in the industry as far as I know right now. If you need more, you can always get an enterprise license. <laughs> a thousand requests per day. I don't think I will hit that limit anytime soon. And then I'd pay for running my application on, in Cloud Run, right? That's right. Cloud Run has a very generous free tier. It gives you a free monthly quota of 180,000 CPU seconds. 360,000 gigabyte seconds and 2 million requests. After that, you only pay when your service is processing a request. So low traffic services are often free, even if they handle traffic all months long. And you use the Gemini CLI to create a prototype of an app. Uh, what else can it do? Gemini CLI brings the power of Gemini into your terminal, so it can do a lot of things like write code, create unit test, generate test data, explain what the code does. It helps you to analyze the error message and do some debugging as well. You can also use it to write documentation and figure out the right shell command and run it for you. All you need to do is to ask it in plain English. Cool. Now, I've used the Gemini website uh, for some of these things in the past. Absolutely. The web UI is also great. The COI is different because it's designed to be part of your tool chain. Since it's in your terminal, you can get help by piping in local files or chaining commands like the git diff, without, all without breaking your flow. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to absorb. Uh, a lot of possibilities here. Yeah, I agree. It is a lot. But two main takeaways. Number one, it's easier than ever to write an app and deploy it to, to the cloud. Number two, and this is a thanks to the Gemini COI and the Cloud Run MCP server. Great takeaways. Thank you for showing us all this, Lisa. Yeah, thanks for having me, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Lisa or me, ask in the comments. And do let me know what you thought of today's episode. I read every single comment. I can't wait to see what you build. <laughs>